My name is Degino Vazarel and I represent Into City University of London. Has anyone here been to London before? Yeah, great. Who likes London? <laughs> yeah, I love London. I've been living in London for the last nine years and I love it. Uh, amazing city, lots of opportunities and today we'll be talking about British education and also uh, London, careers in London and professions of the future. Just briefly, City University of London has just joined the University of London. Well, you know Cambridge, you know Oxford, you know it's not just one university, it's actually a combination of few high-ranking universities within a group. So the same with the University of London, it's a um, group of prestigious universities within it. So it's all based in London. And if we're talking about professions of the future, we all know that whatever was relevant 10 years ago might not be relevant now, and obviously might not be relevant in the next 10 years' time. So now is a good time for you to start thinking what the best return on investment I'm going to get in terms of my degree, because obviously it's not that cheap to study. And it needs to be interesting as well. Uh, so if we're talking about British education and look at the statistics, which is QS World University ranking, UK graduates are actually considered to be the most employable. Also, it's an international perspective. If you're studying in the UK, especially if you're studying in London, there are around 350 nationalities. You can meet people from around the world. It's an amazing experience. And most of the UK degree would have a professional work placement embedded into your bachelor's degree. If we compare the prices of tuition fees, you can have a look at different countries and the living cost. It's still quite affordable. It's a good value for money. Obviously, British education means quality. And it's three years bachelor's degree in the UK. Plus, those who complete high school in Ukraine would need to do a foundation. Foundation is normally from six months up to one year, depending on your level of English and the subject you choose. And scholarships. Scholarships are available for both foundation programs and bachelor's degrees. So the work placement I mentioned would normally take place after your second year of bachelor's degree. So you start with the foundation first, you then move on to first year, and then during second year you start going to interviews, um, attending some fairs, career fairs are quite popular in the UK and at City University as well, and then you do a work placement. It's not compulsory, but it's advised to do that, because not only you can gain a great experience it's a good thing for your CV, but also it's paid, mainly. So you can earn from 18,000 up to 36,000 pounds per year. And you only pay half of the tuition fees normally, but that obviously depends on the university. And then you complete your final year of bachelor's. For those who are doing master's degree, you can also opt for a work placement, which normally lasts for up to six months. Okay. And as I said, it's a fantastic thing to have on your CV and to obviously potentially get a full-time job once you've graduated. Now, London. So everyone knows that London is a huge city, city of opportunities. Um, in fact, it has eight out of top 10 UK universities. And also it has a majority of international companies looking to expand obviously creating lots of job opportunities this way. Um, London is also considered number one for computer game software. Anybody wants to study computer games? Computer science here? Yeah, right. If we're talking about business, it's financial and business hub. And the economy of London is considered to be the same size as the economy of Sweden. So it's fifth in the world. Please come in. Yeah, we have some seats here. If you want to come here to the front, yeah. Okay. And the amount of international banks in London is quite huge. So again, a lot of opportunities in the financial sector in London. 
in general, employment in the UK, as statistics shows, actually are looking to grow up to 37 million um, new positions. Now, I've done some research and you can see some breakdown. So you can see the position which will be relevant by 2024, the amount of new positions, so 37,700 for the financial managers, you can see the average annual earnings, so in the UK it's around 47,000 pounds, and obviously what they do, what the financial managers do, it's quite uh, straightforward. You normally can start your career after graduating with your bachelor's degree. Are there any potential financial managers here? No? Nobody likes mathematics? Nobody likes to count money? No? Okay. Right, moving on. Personal financial advisors. As I said, there are a lot of banks in London, in the UK in general, and that's why this particular position is quite popular. So you can see it's 73,900 projected by 2024. And the salaries in 2014, on average, were around 45,000 pounds. You can also start your career straight after your bachelor's degree. Accounting, who likes accounting? Who likes to count? but without the use of calculator. Anyone? No, not anymore. <laughs> right, okay, well in fact, accountants are very, very important, especially in the UK. Accounting system is quite complicated, it's not very straightforward, so everybody needs a very, very good accountant, you can't just do it by yourself. So the projected new positions amount is actually over 140,000. Salaries are quite high as well, over 47,000, and you can obviously uh, imagine what accountants do. And um, also we don't really like to talk about it, but talking about Brexit and Britain uh, coming out of Europe, we will actually need more accountants because we will need accountants with business skills, with negotiating skills, who can go there and obviously get those deals we need. So accounting is getting more and more popular. So what, what would employers look for in those positions I've just mentioned? Ability to hit the ground running, that's quite important. Mathematics, obviously they mentioned. Who likes mathematics here, by the way? Anyone? No. What do you want to study? Engineering, maybe. I'll talk about engineering later. Uh, reasoning skills, language skills are very important. Excellent interpersonal skills. Now it's getting more and more important. In fact, over 53% uh, of um, companies are actually looking at your personality first before they look at your degree. And strong commitment to chosen career path, that's important anywhere, really, so, yeah. Actuarial science. Does anyone know what actuarial science is? No? That's because you don't like mathematics. <laughs> Actuarial science is actually for those who love mathematics and it's for those who want to work in uh, insurance companies. So if you want to calculate the financial risk to advise on that to the company, that's the career you should really aim for. And actuarial science can get you very good earnings as well. So Forbes estimated that currently over 50,000 pounds, that's per year, not per month. Somebody asked me once if it's per month or not. Um, that's an average salary of actuaries. So maybe that's something you should look into um, if you're still thinking between business, accounting or finance, because it's quite specific um, and it's not as popular as business or accounting. And that's why you will have less competition once you have graduated, so you have more chances of getting a job. And um, <coughs> the university I represent, City, <coughs> excuse me, God's Business School <coughs> actually offers the longest established actuarial science degree. Now, professional placement I was talking about, you can see some of the companies where students can take their professional placement. And as I said, that is during your bachelor's degree. You can also see some of the positions, so you can see financial analyst, you can see the finance product control or accountant management. Um, that's where our students do take internships, work placements or graduate schemes. 
work placements can be from few months up to one year. Coca-Cola is quite popular choice. Who likes Coca-Cola, by the way? Yes, quite a few hands. Oh, somebody has Coca-Cola there. <laughs> Great. Well, this picture here is simply because the CEO and chairman of Coca-Cola studied at CAS Business School, which is a part of City University of London. And it's quite a large company. Um, <coughs> lots of our students actually get internship opportunities um, at Coca-Cola, and we even have scholarships from Coca-Cola. Um, that's one of our success stories, Anastasia, who completed her foundation program for nine months. She then progressed on to the university and she did bachelor's in investment and financial risk management studies at Cut Business School. She also did a work placement during her bachelor's degree. And once she has graduated in 2016, she has got an offer from Lloyds Banking Group. That's in London. And that's, as I said, where we're moving towards to is the work placement. It's so important because it can secure you a full-time job once you have graduated. Not everybody likes mathematics. Not everybody wants to study business. Somebody wants to study law. Anybody here? No? Lots of lawyers. That's great. Well, you can see that actually there will be over 40,000 new positions by 2024, and it's very, very good earnings. Lawyers do, take, uh, do earn lots of money. Um, in terms of law, you can be a lawyer, a solicitor, or you can be a barrister. So it depends what exactly you want to do. But if you get a degree in law, you can actually get a job in different field. Um, I've already mentioned it's good earnings. And looking at the structure of educational system in the UK, how would you get a degree in law? How would you become a lawyer? Well, if you are to start a bachelor's degree, you join foundation program first. So you start with the foundation in law. You then move on, on to LLB, which is three years. After that, you have a choice. If you want to be a barrister, so you want to wear this wig, okay? You move on to graduate diploma in law, which is the conversion program. And then you move on, on to legal practice course, after which you need to sec secure a two years contract with the company. Or Another option, which is quite popular nowadays, is LLM, or Masters of Laws. It's normally one year, and it offers you an opportunity to do a narrow field master's degree. Let's say LLM in human rights, or LLM in banking and finance, or LLM in European or commercial law. So after LLM, after one year only, you can actually become a lawyer in one of the companies um, anywhere, really, because we do have international law as well. And um, some of the notable alumni, we have Margaret Thatcher, Tony Blair, and Mohatma Gandhi, who studied at City Law School, which is 150 years old. And Labor, Labor is an um, online platform which helps students to prepare to practice law. Engineering. Who wants to be an engineer here? Yeah, great. Excellent. Well, actually last night I had a bit of time, so I decided to do a bit of research. Um, engineering is very good qualification to have because there is a high demand, not only in the UK, but all over the world for engineers. We all need engineers, but for some reason, lots of people want to start a business. Um, so there will be over 50,000 new positions, very good earnings, over 38,000 pounds. And you can imagine what the engineers do, but obviously there are different types of engineers. So even James Dyson, everybody knows him, right? He's the 13 richest guy in the world. So he was saying that UK needs engineers. In fact, we need over 1.8 million engineers. On average, 
I've already mentioned over 38,000 pounds that the salary, which was actually estimated in April 2016 as well. And looking into the structure, what do engineers actually do? Well, they need to identify the problem. They need to do some research. Obviously, they need to identify the requirements, brainstorm, they need to find the solution, and they need to develop that solution as well. After which they can test that solution and see if it meets the requirements, in which case they can obviously spread the results to the audience, or if it doesn't meet the requirement, then obviously they need to find another solution or test it again, which is important because it's a, it's a, it's a huge job. It's like being, almost being like a doctor, create a solution for something, build something huge. Um, so what types of engineering are there? Aeronautical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, if you want to deal with design construction of um, different bridges, buildings, electrical and electronical engineering, chemical engineering, and biomedical engineering. Okay. Um, here are just some pictures of the facilities of the engineering department at City, but you can also take a virtual tour and see it in more details online. And that some of the companies where graduates do get jobs in engineering, you can see some of the big companies mentioned there. Now, interesting one, journalism. Anybody wants to study journalism? Yes, yes, great. Do you like writing? Are you good in writing? That's good, that's good. I don't like writing. I'm not very good at writing, so I'm not a journalist. Uh, but in 2024, there will be over 60,000 new positions for journalism, so keep an eye on that. The salaries are quite high, over 35,000, and obviously you can be investigative journalist, you, you can be also um, the one who is interviewing some celebrities. Not good job to have, right? Or not bad. Um, social media, TV, radio presenters, news, etc. And normally you would be expected to have a master's degree. Uh, where are you studying now? Is it bachelor's or high school? Say it again. Ah, oh, it's cool. Okay. So normally you would start preparing for journalism degree from high school, obviously developing your writing skills, which are very, very important. You then move on, on to foundation, which can be nine months or one year, and then you earn bachelor's degree. You are advised to take an internship, even if it's a short term, maybe a couple of weeks, or ideally up to one year. That will enhance your career, that will develop your soft skills as well. And then you will find a job, hopefully. And ideally, you need to get a master's degree to obviously progress within your career. And who knows Olga Freymout? Everyone. Well, Olga Freymout, well, her picture here is simply because she actually studied engineer, um, engineering journalism at uh, City University of London. She did a master's degree and she was uh, one of the top in the class. She was a very, very good student. She worked on BBC News and now she's quite famous here, I know, and um, she has lots of projects, I believe. Okay, <coughs> computer systems. Anybody? No? No, just one, two, three, okay. Well, by 2024, it will be actually over 100,000 new positions in computer science. So maybe you should think twice. Um, everybody needs a data analyst. Everything goes online now. You literally cannot survive without your computer or phone or um, tablet. And earnings are over 30,000 pounds, which are quite good. You can obviously gather what the um, computer system analysts do, and you can actually start your career with a bachelor's degree, which is always great. 
If we're talking about computer science, then we can mention cybersecurity. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because if we look wor worldwide, one trillion US dollars, it's a lot, a lot of money, is actually spent on cybercrime. So you can imagine how important it is to have good cybersecurity specialists. And because it's quite a new um, area, there are not that many specialists there. So obviously companies are looking for very, very good uh, specialists and they're paying very, very good salaries. So it's over 32,000 um, pounds. Talking about the UK, UK economy, t well, 12.5% of UK economy is now based online. It's actually the largest number if you compare country by country, uh, which does so much e-commerce. Okay, and again, uh, those who are doing uh, computer science um, degrees can uh, start with work placement or internship at companies like IBM. As I mentioned earlier, those who are doing finance advising or they're doing accounting can start working in companies like HSBC, uh, PwC or companies of big four, etc. And for those who would like to get more information about our programs, about the scholarships, opportunities, or entry requirements, you can come to our stand. It's in the City University of London. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>